And welcome to Ventures Live, coming to you from the heart of the Innovation District in Erie, PA. We're at Iron Empire Clothing in Erie's Union Station, right next door, a couple doors down, I guess, actually, from the brewery, and just one half of a block east of the intersection of Sass and 14th Street. So we're at M Iron Empire. Of course, if you want to come on in and be part of the live studio audience, you got seven minutes to get here, so hurry the heck up. Crowded, though. It is oh, getting yeah. crowded. There's so many of us. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's Brian Slaywin from the Ben Franklin Technology Partners. And on today's mm -hmm. Ventures Live, we'll meet the entrepreneurial team who readily admit they had no idea what they were doing when they started their clothing juggernaut two years ago. Still How they still, <laughs> still, don't. still don't have any idea. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> How they relied on their friends, their family, the neighbors, and the whole city of Erie to get them where they are today. They'll share with us how social media brought a special young man into their lives and the result of how being involved in his life has changed theirs. And of course, on the big takeaway, they'll share their biggest success and their biggest entrepreneurial lesson so far. And it involves a really famous person. And finally, they'll tell us who they'd like to meet, what they like to eat, and what their superpower is and how they'll use it. It's Meet Eat Superpower coming up on Ventures Live. Holy cow, that guy. What a suit on this guy. Oh, he's always oh, yeah. done. Who is this guy? Is this your... He's dressed to impress always. Every time I see him, Special he's assistant to guy? Hey. hey, man. What's going on? How you doing? Good to see you. We're live right now. Huh? On Ventures live. live. There you go. Come on, come on okay. in. Welcome. But first, here's the coolest things happening in the Erie Innovation District no, in the next okay. seven days. So we all know that it's St. Patty's Day today and St. Patty's Weekend. And there's so much going on in Erie that rather than me blather on about it, just go to eriereader.com slash calendar. That's eriereader.com slash calendar. They've got all what's going on from literally everywhere in the Erie region, eriereader.com slash calendar. Then on Monday, we'll get back to business with starting a business 101. It's put on by SCORE. Jill's and all his buddies are getting on, and it happens at the Mill Creek Branch Library. Man, I'm standing close. Sorry about that. Starting at 1 p.m. on Monday, more information about starting a, built, a business 101, erielibrary.org slash events. Then on Tuesday, the NWIRC is putting on a cybersecurity boot camp. Don't get hacked. It starts at 8.30. It runs all day. Details at nwirc.org slash events and look for cybersecurity. Then on Wednesday... And I can't emphasize this enough. I'm serious about this. You should really go and check out Jobinomics Erie at the Blasco Library. It starts Wednesday at 5. Now, you should register, but admissions is free. It's all about jobs, jobs, jobs. Is this real? Is it smoke and mirrors? I don't know. Find out Wednesday, 5 o'clock. More details, and you can sign up to attend jobenomicserie.com and then finally a whole week from today something super special and pretty amazing is going to happen it happens every two months in Erie the next one is next Friday we'll talk about that more in just a little bit and of course if you want to get your event on the Ventures Live calendar it's easy just hit us up on Twitter at underscore ventures live now let's welcome our guests from iron empire clothing they've been having a good time back here jamie and rj messenger from iron empire clothing ladies and gentlemen welcome to to ventures live i'm so psyched we've been talking about being having you guys on ventures live for a month jamie even got a new hairdo I did. just for ventures just for today. Live. So you started this idea how? How did you get your hair. from I have an idea to I now have a business? 
either one of you can take that one because it's a really interesting story. I saw them the other night at the Penn State Baron Entrepreneurs Club, yep. and they told the whole story. They're not going to tell the whole story tonight. They're going to tell the oh. first snippet. So how would you get from I got an idea to we're actually doing something? Um, I think it was more by chance than anything. Like we had an idea, and it was supposed to be a hobby for mainly him and then it just took off yeah I mean, it really yeah i mean long story short you know we, we started with 300 dollars cash of our own money we both worked full-time jobs so we weren't looking to start a business to make money we wanted kind of something to do for fun on the side yeah and um printed two or three different shirts with different designs on it sold them online on like a free e-commerce website you know where you can put up to 10 items for free per month and yeah um and sold every single one within like a week and a half. So we took all the money from that, flipped it right back into the business, and just kept growing. I'm like, oh, you know, we'll do a couple more designs, and within a couple months, it was okay. We we kind of should keep this going and actually do something with it, not just use it as a hobby. Yeah, yeah. And so the story that you told last or the other night was, um, you actually your first distribution point was at a friend of your store, yeah. and they were selling their stuff. They allowed you to sell Iron Empire stuff, yep. Yep. and then suddenly no one was coming into his store for his stuff. Everyone kept coming into the store for their stuff. And so you yep. worked a deal mm -hmm. where that was your first stop yep. on the retail location, and now you're here. Where are we, by the way? Uh, we're down on West 14th Street in the Union Plaza, um, right by the brewery and Logistics Plus. We love it down here. Yeah, it's awesome. Right, literally, just two two doors down from. I'm trying to see if it's two doors down, something like that. Right down from um, the brewery. So when you're down here drinking today, and we know you will be, and you got your green on, and I've got my green on. Every no well, green here, well, so I don't want to match. He, a he little want to pinching. He cleaned the shirt, so <laughs> he's a diva. They have one <laughs> green shirt amongst all. <laughs> No, there's plenty of green shirts there. So come on down to Iron, <laughs> Iron Clothing. So the other night, RJ, you had a classic line for an entrepreneur. I loved the line. And the line was, you gave up your American dream because you wanted to pursue a better one. Better. I thought that was just classic, classic entrepreneur. Tell that you were plan, by the way. you were working. <laughs> it was great. You were working for the city, yep. and there came a point. I actually met you. Aaron Green introduced us. Aaron we, Green. We were at Cloud Nine. We yep. were having a beer or whatever yep. at Cloud Nine, and Aaron Green introduced us. And you were like, it kind of like, do I quit my job? Do I do yep. this full time? I mean, explain to everyone who's an entrepreneur thinking about being an entrepreneur that that whole mental process. Like, what'd you go through? Um, the best way to describe it is, you know, not only me, but both of us kind of quit our, both of our full-time jobs That's within right. a few months. Right. And it was one of those things where you take a candle and you burn it at both ends. Something's going to give eventually. And it just got to the point where you had to decide, do we keep the business to the level it was and not let it get to its full potential because I'm working 40 plus hours a week. She's working 40 plus hours a week. Yeah. Or... Do we say, you know what, let's go for it and see what it. the hell can happen? And they clearly go went for it, right? This is the result. You can't even see two-thirds of what, what you can see here. Plus, you've got your own screen printing, and the whole machine is in the back. Yep. We took a little quick tour earlier. So, Jamie, what were you doing before you became full-time Iron Empire? Um, so, my job just previous to this, I was working case management at Erie County Care Management. Okay. Um, and then, but my history was working, you know, I did one-on-one, um, -on -one, like, behavior therapy with kids. I always worked in that field. My degrees are in psychology and all of that. And it was hard to give up. I really did love it. But it's kind of one of those things where this is a part of us. This is who we are. Yep. So, like, going after this was way worth giving all that up. And, you know, the Iron Empire message or mission, it's a lot more than just selling T-shirts. I've been completely inspired by the things that I see. Thank you know, you. The, the one classic line that you have is on the opposite side, um, fear, what's the, um, it's so classic I can't even remember it. <laughs> what, it's the, um, help me out. Your dreams start on the other side of fear. Yeah. Right, your dreams start on the other side of fear. I was like, like that. oh my God, I was like, oh my God. Smoky schmokies. Speaking of dreams, <laughs> you helped a young man in town kind yeah. of overcome some challenges that he had. 
-hmm. and now he's hopefully living out some of his dreams. Tell us that story. Uh, I think we're talking about Giovanni. Giovanni, Um, right, right. Story short, um, you know, background on us, we've always tried and be involved with the community. Um, You know, we we don't always put things out there because that's not why we do it. Um, And I'm not even going to start saying everything that we do because, again, we don't do it for that reason. But I was at the gym and I came across a Facebook post that was like in one of those eerie alerts. And it said, you know, 10 year old boy, you know, beat up or, or jumped and had his shoes stolen from yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And it kind of. This was back at Christmas time, right? Um, or right after Christmas? Right after Christmas. Yeah, right after the Probably New Year. Probably about two months ago or so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, someone's oh calling in live. People were on call TV questions. calling, seriously? Okay. So um, you read this thing yep. on social, yep. and it motivates you to reach out, reach out to Giovanni and his family. Yes. And you got him around, you yep. helped him come Basically, in. T- yeah. Tell us what you did with, with Giovanni. Um, me and a good friend of mine, Pat Simmers, uh, he reached out to me right away and said, you know, whatever, you, whatever you're going to do, let me be involved. Uh, so we took him up to the mall. You know, Pat bought him a brand new pair of shoes, whatever pair of shoes you wanted <laughs> in the store. I love that. Um, we, next, we brought him down here. Uh, basically let him grab whatever the hell he wanted in here. <laughs> and uh, awesome. You know, we, we made a post about it, but we didn't make the post to say, hey, look what we did, because that's not, again, why we do things. You know, I wanted to kind of show that being involved in a situation like that, there's positivity that can come out of yeah. it. And, you know, when you're 10 years old, you don't see that. Right, right, right. And even days after that happened, uh, his mother, you know, kind of reached out to me and said, you don't understand, like, yeah. just in his, his you know, behavior and his attitude, how much he's changed day. over the past few days. The coolest thing, so that's, the lead up to what I think is the coolest thing of that whole story, which Mm -hmm. is you were recently involved in the... The knockout homelessness for the city mission. Exactly. Essentially a boxing match tournament um, that's held in town. Yep. And you were one of the fighters or one of the competitors. Tell us what you did with Giovanni. So I I reached out to his mother and I said, you know, I want him him to be involved. I want him to kind of see what it's like to, uh, you know... Be part of the deal. Be part of the deal. So, right. you know, I invited him down to, you know, the training one day. I let him get up in the ring with me, let him throw in the gloves. Um, and I think he had he had probably more fun than any of us did there that day. <laughs> um, posted a little video of that on social media so people can check him out. And then I invited him actually to my fight. Um, you know, I got him and his mother tickets to come down. I had him, you know, train with me in the back, warm up with me. He <laughs> walked down so, to the so. ring with me. He this was, is a 10-year-old you know, kid. He was my oh, ice God, this is awesome. In between rounds and... He, I think I, there was a point in time where I asked him, like, are you nervous? He's like, yeah, because there's, you know, six, seven hundred people Yeah, there. right. It was a big and deal. And I think he was more nervous than I was about it. That's so cool. See, th- th- that's the beauty part about being an entrepreneur is you can actually utilize your business as a platform to do really, really wonderful things, right? At Ben Franklin, we focus on, you know, hiring people and success and generating wealth and all of that and getting people, you know, to work. You also get to do really awesome things exactly. like what you just described. Just fantastic. Well, so the big takeaway, Jamie and RJ, tell us about the thing, the yeah. one lesson you've really learned as an entrepreneur and the one thing you're most proud of as an entrepreneur. You had a story the other night. You, you bought this, brought this big deal guy into town and maybe it didn't work out exactly as you planned. Part of the journey. Tell right. us about that. Um, so, what was it, last year? Yeah, yeah we, last a, year for our we did party. the anniversary party because we wanted to give back kind of to everybody that has supported us over the time. And we brought in um, a Sons of Anarchy, one of the guys from Sons of Anarchy. Right, now, right, right. Now, he was the nicest guy, don't get me wrong, he was the yeah. nicest guy in the world. Like, we had a great time with him. He um, went above and beyond. For a, above yeah, him. absolutely. But at the same time, like, we spent thousands and thousands of dollars bringing him in, and we're like, at the end of the day, it was like most of the people who showed up, I feel like, would have showed up, showed up regardless of because anyway. like, they just were people who support us. And yeah. So hindsight being twenty twenty, we were like, well, that was kind of a waste of money. Maybe we should. You do that. I mean, <laughs> every single business that I've ever been involved in or is on our portfolio today, they'll start heading down the road. They'll make a left turn and go, well, wow, this is a dead end. Why yeah. did we come down this road? Yep. Mm-hmm. Perfect, perfect. So what's the big, the one thing... Other than standing up a store in less than a week, other than moving your whole life from one place of the city to another, other than all the amazing things you've been able to do, what's the one thing you're really most proud of for everything that you've done with Iron Empire Clothing? 
It's honestly 100% the giving back part. Um, I was just reading some business with purpose. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, Sean Fedorko, um, nice comment. That yes, you're exactly right. That's exactly what it is. If we can use the business to change, change one person's life or people in the community or do this or do that for someone and us still get by with what we're doing, I mean, there's there's no better there's no better storyline than that. Yeah, you know, yeah. The, my Erie shirts that we released last week, we... Can you see them back there? Where are they? They're kind of they're, they're they're back, back over there. We'll get one here in a second. Right. Um, you know, we announced since the beginning that we want to take proceeds from the shirts and put that towards something in the community. I love this idea. Well, we decided, Check this idea out. We decided to actually take the proceeds and we're going to start a uh, scholarship fund, uh, the Iron Empire Leave Your Legacy Scholarship Fund. Oh, that's awesome. For the school district. Oh, it's backwards because of the stupid camera. Yeah, Sorry. No, that's okay. all right. Read backwards. And um, <laughs> already within, you know, a week and a half, I think we already have $600. Oh, my God. To start the so fantastic. And our thing is, you know, not to throw this out there, but and I'm not calling anyone out. We're a small business. We've been in business for a little over two years. And if we're able to do stuff like this, everyone why should. can't everyone else? Everyone should. You're absolutely right. So let me make sure I understand. CBS News put on a, a documentary that was not particularly evenly, like, Everything they said in there is true. True, exactly. Absolutely. But there's 100%. a whole other side of the story that didn't get told. Now, hopefully, a bunch of people are putting enough polit uh, peer pressure, I guess, to have them come back, tell more of the complete story. Yep. But that didn't stop Erie, right? So the folks over at the chamber and Visit Erie decided, the heck with this, hashtag my Erie, yeah. and it just absolutely blew up. blew up. You guys took advantage of that, say, let's create... A t shirt. Yeah. Let's create a brand. Let's create something around this. And rather than taking all the profits, which are now six or seven hundred bucks, instead of putting that in their pocket for a better dinner, they're actually giving it back to the community. I love it. It's going to be a scholarship. More details as you guys work yeah, that out, right? Yep. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big hand for our guests from Iron Empire Clothing, RJ and Jamie? All right. Now, because you love it, because you asked for it, Here's what we're going to do next. They'll tell us who they'd like to meet, what they'd like to eat, and of course, their superpower. It's Meet Eat Superpower coming up on Ventures Live. So, who do you guys want to meet, dead or alive, and why? Oh, I wasn't prepared for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, dead or alive, who do I want to meet? You're not going to have to go first. You have to go first. All right, the stumper. How about what's your favorite food? What do you really like to eat? I'm born and raised Italian. I have like grown up homemade Italian sauce, love anything, it, love it, love pasta. It. Sunday at your place made. is what yeah, you're Sunday saying. Yeah, Sunday at my place. Seriously. <laughs> love it. And you, sir? I would say not really a certain style, but. Japanese steakhouse, anything hibachi. I can, oh, nice. I can go back and forth between all of the restaurants here in Erie every Very night cool. and eat it every night. So I mean, Sundays at Nona Jamie's and Friday afternoons we're going out with RJ to the Japanese place. Go. All right, cool. And then finally, what is your superpower, and what do you do with it? Me, I would like to be invisible. So I can walk through bank walls and invisible. be rich <laughs> and not. All right, not. invisible, invisible, all right. Um, We've never had invisible, by the way, on Ventures Live. I would be terrified if you were invisible. <laughs> Most people are terrified of me not invisible, so what does it matter? <laughs> um, I think I would want to fly because I like to travel, oh, so I'd fly. like to be able to just Fly's like, a good one. Yeah, I think I'd want to just be able to go where I go and... Come back and nice fly with a cape or without a cape absolutely a cape. with a cape absolutely. absolutely underwear on the outside with a cape the whole routine a belt around my head <laughs> <laughs> so have we figured out the meat yet meat oh who do you uh, want to meet so oh my God, my, yeah. my meat is reese witherspoon all day all night reese witherspoon <laughs> reese if you're watching okay so if we're going there Mine is all day, and I think you can probably already answer this, Tom Hardy. I would Tom love, Hardy, already Tom done Hardy, it, but Tom I Hardy. would love to meet Tom Hardy. Just spend a little... So quality Tom, time. Tom, if you're watch, yeah. watching... A um, little quality time with Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Answer? I mean, I wouldn't mind to spend some quality time. I don't think anyone would not mind spending time with Tom <laughs> Hardy. But, but um, if anyone, I would have to say... 
I'm just throwing this out there because I've actually yeah, seen yeah, yeah. it lately. Keanu Reeves. Oh, the Keanu fact Reeves. Of how selfless he is with nice. what he does. Um, what's that? We're going on with somebody that we think is attractive, and he's got to go all sentimental yeah. on us. <laughs> I mean, what he does is amazing. Have you, have you never heard about his story? Oh, his Keanu life, Reeves. No, 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 no. Reese Witherspoon. Or her. <laughs> or Reese. So or it's Reese. Keanu or Reese, whoever, but... It's Japanese Steakhouse when you finally do meet. Exactly. It'll All happen. right. It'll happen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for meet Eat Superpower. All right. Just a quick reminder. Make sure you tell all your friends. Ventures Live every Friday, 9 a.m., streaming from the Innovation District in Erie, PA. Go to the Entrepreneurs Group on Facebook. And you can check it out. And remember our alternative facts special. Tell a lie and you too can run for political office. And maybe, well, I better not say that. I'll get in trouble if I say that, right, Liz? Alternative facts special. Bring your friends. Tell your lies. You can chat it right down here, right? Or you can little, little, uh, because he knows kung fu. <laughs> All right. So next. <laughs> you forgot about someone's calling you out. Someone's calling me out? What are they saying? Oh, just the shoes, the boots. Oh, oh, we're not gonna what are you what do you got on your feet? We're gonna have that in just a second. Oh, okay. So next week, make sure you join us as we fire up Ventures Live and visit the coolest, most awesome, and hippest audio and video studio in all of the Innovation District. They just opened last week and already there's a waiting line to get in. It's Menagerie Studios. Brand spanking new Creator Studio. It's on the 12th floor of the Renaissance Building. We're going to be there next week on Ventures Live. And seriously, I would really welcome you if you came into the studio audience and take advantage of this amazing... It was just fantastic. You probably saw some photos on, uh, on Twitter and Facebook. It's really an awesome place. And then right after next week's Ventures Live, so right about now, but in seven days from now, no kidding, it's absolutely 100% free, coffee and consultations at Radius Cowork. It's on the coffee. ninth floor. What's that? I just heard coffee. Woke me up. Coffee and consultation. So you get both. You come in, you get a little coffee. You can talk to lawyers and doctors and... Uh, turn, uh, CPAs and guys like me who fund companies and marketing people and digital. I mean, the whole routine, right? Everyone coming next week, next Friday starts at, I think it starts at nine o'clock or maybe a little before or a little after, but it's all day. Coffee and consultations at Radius. Check out at Radius Cowork on Twitter for all the details. And finally, <laughs> because the clothes make the man and the woman, and shoes speak louder than words, it's time for What's on Your Feet. And we have something special. I'm going to hide Jamie for just a second. So here's RJ. RJ, talk about your shoes today. Oh, you should take them off. All right. This Holy macaroni. What is going on here? We got some... Uh, is this ballistic nylon? What is this? I, I don't know what it is. All I know is this is... The, my easy boot for the day. When I'm in a rush, your other shoes. what's that? You should have worn your other shoes. Oh, this yeah. is his easy boot. Um, All right. You know, when I'm in a rush and I don't feel like tying shoes, I literally jump into these. I have them sitting at the door and I just like jump into them. Very like nice. Like a superhero suit and I'm off. <laughs> Very nice. And so yeah. these are the shoes that you use when you do all your running around, the heavy duty lifting stuff. Oh. These are them. Uh, not so much. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> Whatever. They could I'm making be. up my own story. Yeah, yeah I, it's good. And the yeah. socks. I don't know if you saw the socks. Did you see the socks? They're the happy down oh, yeah, anklets. Yeah, yeah. This, is, oh, yeah. this is classic. This is it. We don't see those much around here at Super nope. uh, Ventures Live, but starting a I, trend. I don't have the fancy colorful socks like the rest of you guys. Now, I got something special mm -hmm. for you. Do we have to credit Emily, though. She's going to be mad at me. Who are we crediting? Emily George. I'm wearing your shoes. Don't be mad. Love you. Oh, my God. Look at these things. What are these things? They oh. are they're the most comfortable things I've ever put on my feet, and that's why I haven't given them back to Emily yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm borrowing them kind of long term, um, but they are. What are they? Barbary, bear paw. Oh, bear, bear paw. paw. Yeah, there bear we go. Paw. And they're like they're fake, but they're like super like 
fluffy and fluffy nice. and soft, and they're like slippers on the Holy inside. macaroni. Well, and we have a studio audience member today. <laughs> so let's see go. what's on your feet, sir. This no, is classic. I mean, square fit. Yeah, he does have Very the whole sad. outfit thing going on, but we focus on the shoes, the square tip buckle over with classic black socks, and look at the cut on his jib. Oh, my God, this is amazing. All right. Thanks, everyone, for uh, joining us for Ventures Live. On behalf of RJ, Jamie, our huge studio audience, <laughs> and everyone that knows that everything you want is on the other side of fear, thanks for tuning in for Ventures to Ventures Live. I'm still Brian Slaywin, and if you think about starting your own business, expanding the one you've got, or you just want to kick up an idea, make sure you join us, Ben Franklin Technology Partners, and, of course, we'll see you next week live, Ventures Live, at Menagerie's Maker Studio. Thanks for all the love, everyone. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye.